County, a disturbing trend in the wrong direction, a rise in violent crime in murders, and they don't want this to go in the wrong direction, Marcus. They're immediately taking action on this. Yeah, that's right. The mayor got together with his top brass, local law enforcement, grassroots organization, and they wanted to put a stop to this as best as they could. And I guess the first step at that is admitting that there's an issue, and that's what they did. You know, last year they had four homicides all year, and just halfway through January, not even, they're nearly double that amount. So that's when Mayor uh, Marty Small gathered his city's top law enforcement with the city's neighborhood anti-violence leadership and newly formed reentry service division to assure residents and visitors on what's being done to solve the killings, of course, the ones that have happened and to prevent more from happening in the future. New Year's Day with two stabbings on a boardwalk and we had a, in under 40, uh, 48 hours um, two uh, murders by gunshot. So this is something that we're taking seriously. We wanted to reassure the public and the residents of Atlantic City that uh, murders and violence will not be tolerated. Listen, we made it very clear, you're never gonna stop all the crime, but we got the uh, necessary tools in place with the police department, our anti-violence unit, our re-entry unit, and we wanted to reassure the public that, you know, we mean business as far as stopping this crime. Yeah, and that's the first step, as I mentioned, is that, you know, putting a message out there that they're aware of it, that they're trying to solve these crimes, and that they're trying to prevent further crimes. Of course, for the tourism industry, that is so huge for this city. That's, of course, what this economy relies on, and people don't want to be scared to come here. But then maybe even more importantly so for the residents who call this place home, who live here day in and day out, which there are many, many, many tens of thousands who live here and call home, they want to be safe as well. So it appears that the local administration is aware of it and trying to do something about it right now. Yeah, everyone deserves to be safe. Marcus, thank you. Here's the